Well, hello there. Now, I'm in a toilet. Thought this would be a good way to start a video. <laughs> but it's not just any old toilet, as I hope you can see. This is the quite magnificent Victorian public toilet in Rossi on the Isle of Butte. And I'm just hoping nobody come in, <laughs> comes in just now to use it. Um, but it's just, this is absolutely stunning is the word, you know, it's an architectural gem. This is, you know, built at the height of uh, the Victorian heyday when everything was not just functional, but made to look really nice. And it's very hard to imagine a nicer urinal than this. It's just out of this world, you know. Um, today, um, as I say, I'm on the Isle of Butte and... Uh, I'm going to do another little bit of the West Island Way. Um, I did one other video about um, a small section of that walk. It's, um, as I said previously, the West Island Way is not the West Highland Way. The West Highland Way is on the Scottish mainland. The West Island Way is on an island, this island, the Isle of Butte. Uh, I'm doing about eight miles from Rossi to the north of the island, and um, I'm having some difficulty pronouncing where it is I'm going to end up. It's a ferry terminal, but I'm not getting the ferry. There is also a bus stop there, and I'll be coming back, getting the bus back to Rossi. It's like rub, rub a doch or. I've had such difficulty pronouncing the word because the, the name kind of differs a little bit between the name of a steading and the actual kind of uh, ferry area. area. Um, I think it's Gaelic at that point. So I've decided I'm just going to call it rub a dub dub and be done with it. And anybody who knows the area will know that when I say rub a dub dub, I'm actually pretty close. Um, now, today, um, I've got the big tripod with me which means that I mean business. There's a wee bit of wind, maybe 12 miles an hour or something, but um, it's coming from the west, and throughout today's walk, we're going to have a bit of shelter, because I'll be walking on the eastern side of some kind of higher ground, which will give us shelter, I think, from the wind. Um, but as I said previously, this tripod is an absolute monster. If I set it up with everything fully extended and left it unattended, I would come back to it to find that workmen from some power company had attached cables to it, thinking it was an electricity pylon. It's just huge, you know. But um, I, I thought it was necessary, uh, given the slight potential for wind, so that I could get some decent footage for you guys. Um, so that, that's the hope. Um, so without further ado, first things first, I'm just going to empty my bladder and we'll be on our way.
Well, we've left a, a steep road coming up from Rossi and we're now on a footpath in the countryside. Sometimes, sometimes in these walks it can be a little bit confusing and you're not sure which way to go. There's an awful lot of flies here. Um, I mean, there's a sign there. It's pointing towards the West Island Way and it's pointing in that direction. But it's not positioned on that fence post there, saying it's that way, it's positioned there. And you're thinking, do I go through that big fence or not? And that's why it's important to have a map with you, because I wasn't sure there, and I'm, um, I looked at my map, and I could see that round about now, we do actually turn left, i.e. that way, and it's at a steading called Gartans, G Gortans. And if I just peek around there, I can actually see a building. So it, I'm quite happy in that this is, in fact, the way to go for a short distance, then we'll turn right again. Um, as far as the, the travel for today is concerned, I, I got a ferry from Weemus Bay, which is probably pronounced wrong. The bus driver corrected me and said, Weems Bay. Why don't we just call it Weemus Bay, just to really noise folk up? Um, so, and you know, you can get a, a, a bus or a train to Weems Bay from Glasgow or I'm sure other places. Ferry from there to Rossi, or, which is on the Isle, Isle of Butte. Um, and from round about the Tourist Information Centre in Rossi, you just head up Gallagate, then onto Bridge End Street, then Hill House Road, Westland Road, and you, you're turning right just before... Um, Westland Farm. And this path, it was sort of bypassing Port Bannatyne. Then we'll go back onto the road for a wee bit. And we'll head up onto the hills, Cames Hill and Windy Hill. Uh, we're actually going to the top of Cames Hill. Then we're, we're kind of not quite going to the top of Windy Hill and we'll start to cut down. And, uh, you know, at that point, we're going to be sheltered, I think, from the little bit of wind that there is around. But uh, so far, so good, you know, nothing spectacular. But I expect that once we get onto the hill, we'll start to see some pretty stunning views. We're surrounded by firths and lochs and uh, kyles and all sorts of watery things. So let's go. Okay, that's how easy it is to make a mistake. Ignore what I've just said back there. This is not the path. It, I was thinking this is very muddy. It's also looked fairly well trodden, which suggests to me that a lot of people have made the same mistake that I have just done. It goes on for a bit, very, very muddy, then it just stops. And you think, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Um, so it's looking very much as if I should have gone through that gate. Um, and perhaps I should have been just a little bit nearer the steading of Gortan's before turning left. But you know, it's, it's slightly misleading. That's how easy it is to get mixed up. I think the sign on the gate would perhaps have been better if it had been pointing straight ahead than another uh, sign after that saying turn left. Because saying left at the gate, and you can see that little opening that I came through, dead easy to get confused, well trodden path. As I say, lots of people have done the exact same thing. So that's, that's something that needs sorted. I feel an email, an, an email coming on to whoever is responsible for the, uh, the island, uh, the, the West Island Way. Anyway, let's go back and we'll uh, pick up the correct path. Yeah, the, the gate that I was stood at back there, 
you do have to go through that gate and the, the correct route is immediately after and almost attached to the gate but on the other side of the gate where you turn left. Um, but as, as I said earlier, I think a lot of people made the mistake that I did there and I think I'm going to uh, do an email to maybe suggest um, another sign or something just to kind of pr prevent any further confusion. Uh, but let's uh, just carry on. It's a very muddy and a very boggy path that not really very pleasant if I'm honest. I'm not sure how much it'll dry out in better weather. I don't actually remember a great deal of rain in the last few days. I suspect it's just a boggy bit of ground. And that, um, that tripod's a nightmare. Every now and then, I, I, it's been that long since I've used it that I forget how much of a nightmare it is. It's not just the weight, in many ways the weight's not that bad, it's the size of the thing. It's doing my shoulders in, just putting it across, slinging it on my, on my shoulders, it's just, my God. I'll probably end up trading it in for something just a wee bit lighter. My god, there's Clegg's here as well. Can things possibly get any worse? Bogs and Clegg's.
a bright day as dry as the Sahara. It's meant to be stirred hot, right enough. I should have got it hot. I was waiting for the bus at Bray Head this morning and I noticed a, a barber shop I was having a right good look at it it was shut but there was a sign saying something like just walk in or walk in is accepted you could just walk in I mean in the old days I mean, when you wanted a haircut you've just got the barbers you know you, you knew that you'd, in order to get inside the barbers, you would have to walk in. We didn't need instructions back then, you know. And I think the sort of intelligence of mankind has must have fallen greatly over the decades, because we need the most basic of instructions for everything. You know, for not instructions in for a barber, so we just walk in. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? You can just walk in. Amazing. And I think that some of the buses you can pop on. Again, it's just a basic construction. That's a bus. What do we do with that? You pop on. You pop onto the bus. Oh no, it's hop on. In fact, I think it's hop on. <laughs> Even the hotels, you know. Hotels have got the most basic of instructions on their exterior. Eat, sleep, relax. Like, you know, folk have never seen a hotel before and they would be unsure how to deal with it. What's that big building for? Let me see now. Uh -huh. Eat, sleep, relax. Ah, I get, I, I've got it now. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm going to quickly eat this. Uh, uh, I don't think I'm pushed for time, but I kind of feel as if I might, I might be. <laughs> um, I spent about 20 minutes going the wrong way back there. Um, we're just about to head up the top of the first hill. Once we're up there, I think we kind of skirt uh, near the top of the, the one just beside it, and then we start to go downhill, so that's a good sign. Then we'll make our way for Rub-A-Dub-Dub. So I'll see you shortly.
Well, I made it to the, the ferry terminal, it's just along the road. You can see the ferry on the other side of the bit of water there. Uh, that, that, that tripod's a nightmare. A bit of it fell off when I was up on the hill. One of the tightening screws. I'd probably be able to glue it back on again, but... It's a sort of tripod that you would use if you were working uh, with a television company and you were using a camera the size of a small garden shed. It's just, it's unmanageable for me. It's not a camera you can go lugging about the hills. A tripod, rather. Um, it, my overriding thought about today's walk was that it was mostly boggy. Very boggy. I mean, it, when it's as boggy as that, it, it's really not a pleasant walk. It really isn't. But, you know, it swings and roundabouts. There was great views. You maybe don't get one without the other. And maybe it's less boggy in dry spells of weather, although I somehow, I just think it's it's a boggy bit of ground. It's not a bit of... It's not a... Uh, that's a tongue twister, isn't it? Boggy bit of ground. No, it isn't, no. Um, it's not just a boggy bit of ground. The whole, the whole walk was boggy. The whole area up there is boggy. It's just one big bog. <laughs> yeah. But uh, as I say, we've got the views, and that's the main thing. And hopefully we've got some usable footage. It was a wee bit windy up the top. So I'll get a bus from here at 20 and 40 minutes, I'm slightly early. Um, back to Rossi, then the ferry, back to Weems Bay, then a the bus back to Glasgow. Although it, the bus is from Weems Bay back to Glasgow, um, so sort of later on in the evening they don't go to Glasgow, they stop at Greenock. And the number of times I found myself in Greenock standing forlornly on the platform of Greenock Railway Station waiting a train, it's nobody's business. You know, public transport, it's hit and miss. Anyway, enough of this morning. I think when I get to the ferry terminal, I'll rename it the Rubber Dub Dub Ferry Terminal. Then I'll go on a quest looking for those three men in that boat. Or something like that. I'm Eddie Burns. Bye for now. Just how long have I to go?